morning, ESM. Happy Valentine's Day. We have a wonderful show planned for you today, but more on that after news and announcements. ESM students competed on the New York State Regional Competition on Friday. Brianna Deerstein finished in second place for a job demonstration in early childhood education, while Emily Andrews and Todd Durantini placed second in TV production. Earning a first place in early childhood education was Rhiannon Butchko. Everyone who competed for ESM will be headed to the Skills State Championship in April. A college student helped solve a 57-year-old murder case in Pennsylvania. James Paul Fort, a bartender with a history of assault, has been identified as the killer of nine-year-old Maurice Ann Chivarelli. The murder occurred nearly six decades ago, and college student Eric Schubert helped crack the case. Schubert helped police by using genetic genealogy and DNA testing with the genealogical research, Schubert said in his statement. The investigation that went into all of this work was probably the hardest gene genealogy task that I've ever faced, and it means so much to me that I was able to be on the team that could provide answers to the Chivarelli family. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. And to the republic for which it stands. One nation under God. Indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. ESM's Video Club Night is this Friday in the auditorium. And Kanto will be the first movie at 6 and then Shang-Chi at 8.30. Tickets are on sale online and will be at the doors as well. More information is provided on our Instagram, AESM Video Club, or by scanning the QR code. Okay, so today is our Valentine's Day trivia show. We have four contestants, including myself, and we're going to see how well we know each other. All uh, right. To say the teams, by the way, I'm guessing for Jaden and Elena for Josh. We just split it up so we don't see what they're writing down. <laughs> okay, so. First question is, what is your partner's favorite color? What's my favorite color, Jaden? You're supposed to write it down. Yeah. You got mine, Josh? You write it down? Am I supposed to turn it around? Not yet. I got to say it first. Josh, you ready? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, 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 I'd have to say that Jaden's favorite color is blue. I'd have to say it. Okay. Um, my guess for Josh is red, because you're wearing red and I think you like red. <laughs> well, that is sadly incorrect. I'm going with Elena's color as blue. Uh, Owen's color is purple, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. This is true. Okay. Well, Josh, you're wrong. My favorite <laughs> color is purple. Okay. This is true. My favorite color is, in fact, purple. This is true. Okay, what is your f partner's favorite food? What's my favorite food? I'm going to go with a safe one here. I don't think this guy's good. I don't think this guy's good. I don't think this guy's good. What is my favorite food? He's going to give us like, he's going to give us pizza. Hold up. I got to think about this one. I don't know. Oh, should I have to go with a pizza? He's just guessing for you. Oh, so I, okay. Yeah, no, you're good. <laughs> but he, I don't even know what my favorite food is, so you can go first. Okay. Oh, Josh, well, I'll just say, oh. I think your favorite food is burgers and fries. Well, that's a little offensive, <laughs> but um, <laughs> I was just going to go with Elena for chicken rings. <laughs> that's close. It's Italian food, so I guess, well, I guess that's, that's right. General. That's, that's general. That's I, I also would say my favorite food has to be something I had Italian chicken related. tenders, though. That's, that's got to count for something. Not even close. <laughs> not I said that close. was a safe option. Go to leather. <laughs> not even close. As you can see right here, it's once again clear skies today, and this is going to last throughout the whole day, so there's going to be no interference of any rain, snow, ice, or slush. Now onto our seven day. Monday will be a high of 17 and a low of 9. Tuesday is going to continue the clear sky trend and getting warmer. Same with Wednesday and so forth. Thursday will have a high of 57 and a low of 24 being very warm that day, and it'll start to go down again. With that, I'm Grayson with your weather.
Alright, welcome back everyone. Now we're going to see how well Owen knows me and Elena knows Josh. Is your partner a dog or cat person? I swear. I think I know this one. I, I think swear. I know here. This one. I don't think you have one, but I think you're this type of person. <laughs> what would you say you are, Jaden? I think you're supposed to turn it around. No, you say oh. it first. <laughs> Fine, I'm a cat person. Are you? This man has I'm no. Sorry. <laughs> Josh, what are you? I said dog. Um, I'm a dog person. Yeah. How are you a Woo! cat person? I don't know. I, mean, I just don't like your. I just don't like your dog specifically. That's why. <laughs> My dogs are cute. Okay. <laughs> what is your partner's biggest pet peeve? Oh, he's got a lot. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> You don't have that. I don't think you have that many. This is hard. Favorite pet peeve? Uh, I can be funny, but I'm not gonna. Uh, okay, I think I got a good one. I don't. Got a good one. Uh, what do you think bothers Jaden the most? I don't know what bothers Jaden. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just gonna say. I think I'm. I think I'm ready for Josh. Josh, I. You. What's your. What's your pet peeve? Well, I have too many pet peeves. Okay, just name one. You said everything. <laughs> yeah, that's I have to say that's right. <laughs> What's your pet peeve, Jay? Uh, uh, probably people showing up late to things that's when you're uh, supposed to be on time. You, you, you really say? hate when people like play really bad music. That's like, true. I that put, is also I a put, very I big one. Bad. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, there you go. Oh yeah, there you go. Bad music <laughs> in my beautiful five-year-old handwriting. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now let's wrap it up to sports with the Super Bowl. I'm sure you all heard about the big game yesterday, the Puppy Bowl. Yeah. Oh, uh, confirmation the back said actually yesterday was the Super Bowl. With that being said, the Los Angeles Rams are this year's Super Bowl champions, beating the Bengals in a close game 23-20. Quarterback Matt Stafford has his first Super Bowl after 13 years in the league and threw three touchdown passes. One was the game winner, two receiver, and Super Bowl MVP Cooper Cup, who had 92 yards and two touchdowns in the game. The Rams defense played amazing, having seven total sacks and being led by Aaron Donald, who had two. It is possible now that the three-time Defensive Player of the Year retires following the Super Bowl win, as he hinted at it before the game. Friday, the boys and girls basketball lost to Cortland. The boys lost 55-51. to Dylan Abreu contributed the most, scoring 15 points, and Cole Thomas was close behind, scoring 12 points for the team. The girls lost 43-19. to Anaya Jones scored 12 points. The girls lost again on Saturday against JD, 59-37. And Ian Jones scored 11 points, and Angelina Paul Carroll scored 8. The men's Syracuse lacrosse team opened up the Gary Gate era with a win over Holy Cross, and the Syracuse women's lacrosse team opened up the Kayla Trainer era with two wins over Stanford and Binghamton, and I'm Tanner with Sports. All right, thank you all for watching our trivia show. Uh, sorry that Jaden is a cat person, but from me uh, and everyone else here at the morning show, have a wonderful Valentine's Day.